Hey everybody, it's Claire Nicole of She's Crafty 2 and as promised, I told you I would go live tonight to show you how I staged my ottoman tray that I bought from Furniture Row. So this guy is like really, really heavy. So before we get started, um, I just want to thank you for joining me tonight and um, start sharing the video because you're going to see a lot of things happen. I've got tons of stuff on the floor next to me because even though you already see it staged I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk you through what I did and how I pulled parts uh, things from my home that I already had but I might have shopped a little bit let me go ahead and turn this around so I can see your comments and we I've got some farmhouse stuff I've got some springy stuff so we'll see how we're gonna be able to change this out various ways okay and with your input We'll rock this out together, all right? So let me see who's here. Hi, Rita. Rita, I think you sent me an email. I saw it yesterday, but I'll get to it tomorrow, okay? Because I have a lot of stuff I need to do with the group. All right, let me clean my glasses. Um, these glasses are kind of not new, but new for me. I don't know where my black glasses are. I have black glasses and I have brown glasses. And these brown ones, they're like a little big. And I have to like tuck them behind my ear and this is what's holding them in. So I got to find the black glasses. Otherwise, I'm going to wear this thing the rest of the year. Okay, so hi, Julie. Let me go ahead and walk you through what I've done so far. Okay, so this tray, I don't have the measurements, but that is a 12 by, it's 24 by 24. And it is heavy by itself. And then adding all this other stuff and moving this from the ottoman to the floor so that the kids could move the ottoman against the sofa and we could have a sleepover or a slumber party. That's what I call it. That's basically us just spending the night downstairs. Um, this gets really heavy, okay? So let me just go ahead and walk you through what I've done. So let me zoom in, okay? Oops, let me get that remote out of the way. Okay, so some of these items are new all right let me go ahead and take y'all off just so i can show you a little bit closer and then i'll put you back on and then as we're doing the other parts like the farmhouse and the spring then we'll go ahead and turn it around all right so oops is it turned around again sorry you can see my face i want you to be able to read okay so i had this dream already and i think i got it at I have no idea. Maybe at Kirkland's. And this, I found this as at at home as part of their Christmas decor. So I probably paid like a buck something for that. Now let me show you this. Let me show you something in here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me show you what this says. This says Happy Holidays. So I knew I was going to put stuff in it and look what the bowl looks like. So you can find this at home today, 50% off. And then I bought a bag of orbs and stuff. And I loved that these are colored blue. So I'm not sure if they were more expensive than buying a regular bag of orbs and doodads and stuff. But you could totally buy a plain one. And just get you some paint, get you some junk monkey paint and just kind of go over it really quickly to bring in that color, okay? So we took a, a pretty cool bow that had the black and white and the gold that y'all have seen in my tree and around my home. Hi, Portia. And just fill it up with orbs and I don't care that it says happy holidays because nobody's going to see that, right? And then this was also part of their Christmas decor is just this candle stand. And I'm not sure how much I got it, but I went ahead and put this on it another cool doodad or whatever. Um, so the ottoman, you kind of want to see it all the way around, but still have kind of like a front uh, view, but you know, do it in a way to where if somebody walks around it, they're still gonna get some stuff to see on the other side or this side or whatever side. All right, so, and then I found this too. This was part of their, I think clearance Christmas decor. So I went ahead and got this and I found this real cute bird that I just loved. I don't even know how much it was. Like I don't even take stickers off. And I think he was on sale. Maybe not. But look, there's the price. Totally worth it. So you can see how quickly stuff can add up on a huge ottoman tray. But it's totally worth it. Alright, so I put him in his nest there. 
And then I found this on clearance too at, at home. I'm not sure how much it was, but I knew it was on clearance because I think there was supposed to be something on top and it broke off. So I went ahead and put a candle on here that smells like eucalyptus and spearmint and just kind of put it on top, okay? So here we come around and then I found this guy. So let's see how much he was, $7.99, okay? And then I found this guy. Look, I seriously still have the price tag on him, $7.99. So there's another 15 bucks and I just stuck that sucker in there. See, I don't even know the price tags on there. And I just totally love that greenery right there. All right, hi Linda. And okay, so back here we have a picture frame. Oh, I should have put, put on my knee pads because now I'm coming around. Okay, so this is actually a hanging vine orb. Okay, these will look really cute like outside, like on your porch. I'm not sure how much this was, but I totally fell in love with it because it's got succulents and all that stuff. So we put that guy there. What you looking for, honey? Okay, go ahead and put it up there. Just put it up there by the wedding picture. And then I wanted to kind of mix up my greenery. So we've got some, you know, Texas looking stuff and then some what looks like fresh greens over there. And let's see how much this guy was. Oop, look, Claire actually took off the sticker. But you know what? I think... This was on clearance because, bye babe, this was supposed to be hanging. It, I don't know, maybe it's one of those things that you hang from the porch. I've seen where they're starting to hang plants and stuff like that, or fake plants. Um, can you lock it? All right, so, and then I have a picture of me and baby Zane that I love so, so much. Look at him. He's so cute. Okay, so here is the way it is set up right now and the way it's probably going to be set up for a while so always be on the lookout for things that you can kind of change and mix up this is a huge big ottoman i think it's four by four so that tray is quite big and quite heavy and the kids hate it because they can't jump on the ottoman and they can't lay down on the ottoman so the plan worked again when i want to use the ottoman up against my sofa this becomes an issue because I got to pick everything up all right so here is the everyday look but now we're gonna go ahead and start changing some things out so here's some things that I pulled out of my garage um, Judy this tray you can find it at furniture row sofa mart on Ingram across Ingram Park Mall and I believe it was about 60 bucks which is not stinking bad okay um, let me go back to it so I thought, hmm, I've already spent a lot of money on furniture today and on an ottoman. Do I really, really want this tray? And for $60. So then I got to thinking, this is a really big tray. And how many stores am I going to have to go to to find a tray like this? And how much money am I going to spend while I'm looking for a tray like this? Because you know your girlfriend can go to multiple stores for glue and come out with $300 worth of this. <laughs> so I said, nope, I'm gonna buy that tray because I already know I love it. I'm gonna save gas, time, and money and buy it right now, okay? So yeah, you can totally get this tray and it comes even smaller. So if you see this trim right here, it even actually, it, it comes that small too, but this is their biggest one. So if there's biggest one is about 60 bucks and I cannot tell you if it was on sale or not, but if I had my sticker or my, my receipt, I would show you. Okay. Yes. Not bad at all, Judy. Like I said, when you take into consideration, you know, how much time I would spend looking for it and how much money I could possibly spend on other things, looking for it and the gas and all that. So I'm glad I got it. All right, so here's some other things that we are working with. We've got a little bit of farmhouse, a little bit of spring. I have no idea what we're gonna put together, but we are gonna mix, maybe take some of this out, put some of this in here. So let's get to work, you guys. And if you like this, go ahead and share it. Sharing is caring and sharing is giving me a virtual hug. Oh, Amber, she just left the room. Let me go ahead and turn this around. We are training Luna to not jump on the sofa and stuff. Um, and she's learning, 
I mean, I literally saw her with my own eyeballs jump on the ottoman and I spanked her butt and I put her in her little bed. Um, because, you know, when we're down here, when we're down here, she wants to be with us. So I told the girls, we need to get her a bed. Um, but, I, you know, the floor is cold with the ceiling fan and everything. So we got her a bed so she could feel like, okay, I'm with everybody, but I'm not alone, but I got my little bed. So we're training her and hopefully it works, okay? So let's go ahead and start changing some stuff out. Do y'all want to change this out to farmhouse? So if you want farmhouse, give me some hearts. If you want spring, give me thumbs up. So farmhouse hearts, spring thumbs up, okay? And we will change this out. Farmhouse hearts and I already forgot what I said. Thumbs up to spring. So I see a lot of farmhouse. So who's loving this idea? If y'all love it, <coughs> excuse me, let me know. I love my ottoman. I'm totally in love. It looks like farmhouse is winning and I'm happy because I got a lot of farmhouse and we might work a, a little piggy in there. So let's see how we can change this out. So I'm going to go ahead and take mine and Zane's picture out and I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going to show you how we're just going to change some things out here. I'm going to go ahead and put it over here so I know that it's part of my decor. And let me go ahead and zoom in. So we are going with a farmhouse. All right. So we already took... The picture frame out. Oops, there's the charger. Let me go ahead and charge the phone while we're here. And let me move some of the lights closer, okay? The kids are upstairs in the room playing with Luna. All right, so good, we got some lighting. Is that good? Yeah, good, good, good. All right, so now look what we're gonna do here. I got this stand, so this stand holds Let me come this way here. Sorry. Okay, so we have that stand back here, right? I'm going to move this away. I'm going to move this away. All right. So I have some signs. Remember we had a live sale not too long ago of some signs? Well, Veronica made these signs and I told her, those are mine. All right. So we've got the this with the stacked animals. And then we have just the cow. This is all chocotour, y'all. Okay, these are chocotour transfers that you could get today. And all you gotta do is get some cabinet door signs and paint them really quickly, sand them, and put that chocotour transfer with some paste. And there you go, right? And here's another one that she did. So I can make my own signs, but I like them. And I went ahead and told Veronica, I'll buy them from you because that means I don't have to do them myself. So here's some options here you could go with that so let's just go ahead and leave that there and we're gonna play with this okay and we'll leave these guys over here all right so let's see what else we can do well we have a piggy there this is where my brain is starting to think okay hi Camille hey Mary Jane Getting here from Illinois. Yes, let us know where you're watching from. So let's go ahead and put some things here and we're gonna piece everything together. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, guys, this is definitely a challenge. Okay, so when you think of farmhouse, you think of cotton, right? So let's go ahead and bring this out. We're just putting stuff out there. And then I'm thinking, hmm. Maybe bring in some color. Let's see what we're gonna do here. <clears throat> here is creative brain at work, for sure. <clears throat> All right, so here's some veggies. There's the tags. Let's see what we're gonna do. I'm still kind of like, Thinking, thinking, thinking. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Well, we need to take this bird out because this bird is not farmhouse. So this bird is going away. So we're going to go put him on the sofa. 
so that I know to put him back and hopefully I don't forget how I staged it a while ago. All right, so I see this stand over here that I think I like. So this is a cake stand that I have on my dresser, my white dresser. Okay, so let me zoom out a little bit just so y'all could see. So I'm thinking I want to put this up here and take this out and maybe put this here and maybe take the candle out, although I do love the tilt in there. And hold on. I'm going to move all of this over here. Are y'all seeing that? If y'all are loving it, go ahead and give me some hearts. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Okay, I saw somebody said they like the teal, but I've got a teal candle right here. Okay, I think I like that so far. Do y'all like that? Okay, and then let's see what else can we do? What else can we do? Okay, well, you know what? We got a piggy right here. Let's put this piggy right here. How about we have them going maybe this way because we have the sign over there, but then we have the piggy facing this way because when I come in, the piggy's gonna greet me, right? But then when I come around this way and maybe I go to the dining room and I'm a guest or whatever, I see the sign this way. So we're kind of staging the um, ottoman, you know, so you can be seen from different, different sides. All right. Let's keep going. So, I don't think this cactus goes. Do y'all think this goes anywhere in here? Let's see. All right, let's move it away. I don't want to forget what I had on my ottoman. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it back here on my sofa. And I almost feel like, let's see. I kind of like this little guy here somewhere. Hmm. Or, hold on. This almost looks like some type of, I don't know, veggie, right? It looks like some type of herb. Let me go ahead and take off that price tag because Claire is bad with taking off price tags. All right, I'm going to put it in my pocket. Y'all love the cotton. No house. Well, we're still put, putting pieces apart, pulling pieces apart. I kind of like this there. We're a work in progress, y'all. Mm, I don't know. What can we put there? Let's move this, the succulents, out of the way. That's definitely not farmhouse. What if we put the candle here? And then... Uh, here's some veggies. Maybe we can kind of throw them in there. Maybe people will notice. Just like that cute little pop of red in there. We're going to take this dream out. And what else can we add in here? Do y'all have any recommendations of what we can add in here? Hmm. I kind of like this rustic looking moss ball somewhere in there. But I don't want it to be too, too much. Maybe there. Take this home out. Let me see if I like this hope here. We'll take this out. Okay. We're going to put it over here. And let's see. Do y'all like that so far? A bit too blingy for farmhouse to me. Okay, let's see what you have in your stash, Judy said. Let me show you what I have in my stash. Maybe I got something you might like. How about this? This looks farmhouse because it's, I don't know, maybe that. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we can do here. Work in progress here, let's see. And then we got a taller one. Might be too much. I kind of.
kind of like it like that. Do we take these off? Hmm. Okay guys, any tips? Because I feel like I'm stuck right now. And I'm trying to see what else I have. I wish I had some more veggies to go there. And I don't want to dig in my stash to go look for veggies. And I'm looking around what I already have here. Oh, you know what I think would go really cute? I don't know, I kind of like this little saber bow right here. This is Ray Dunn, little saber bow. Okay, I'm gonna look at just comments. Set the plant in front of the black and white containers. Oh, there you go, I like that. Yes, because it looks like, ooh, I like that right there. Is that what you're saying? And maybe we'll put the candle right here. Okay, hold on. Let me move stuff out of the way. My living room was clean and now it's been... Let's see. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. I like that pop of red. And then maybe we'll put this... We'll put this guy over here but on the other side of the pig to bring in some of that teal to kind of go with the teal candle. Are y'all loving it? So it's gonna go right over here. So I will show you what's going on back here. Okay, so y'all don't feel left out. And then, I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, what else? Let me see if I have any other little doodads over here. I love that pop of bread right there. Do y'all think a big old ant would go on there? No. I wonder, let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking. Okay, look, I found something over here. I don't know if this goes, but I like this little succulent right here. Right there. All right. So do y'all like that sign or do you want me to try? Well, the other signs are pretty much the same. Let me see, look all the way around. I need another veggie. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring another orb over here somewhere. Sometimes you can just kind of use a single orbs. So I'm just gonna put an orb like right there, just kind of thrown there. All right, let me come back and check your comments really quickly because you're probably going nuts. All right. How do y'all like that? Y'all saying no veggies? I like the veggies. I actually um, had an onion and I don't know where it's at. So I like that pop of red. Okay. So let me read y'all's comments. Give me. I have a lot of opinions. Yeah, because everybody's got different tastes. So everybody's trying to give their input here. So that's okay. Maybe pull the bowl out some. And I'm. I'm Texas, y'all. Not that every Texan is like that, but I like to really have a lot of stuff. So, what you might like might be like heck to the no for me. And maybe following me long enough will convince you like, you know what? I like, I like a lot of stuff. All right, let me read some of your comments and then I will go ahead and show y'all like the dream sign oh Teresa, i just put it up let's see sit the wreath off cake stand and just sit the candle in the wreath but then it's not going to have any height dana so and then it becomes the same level as 
the pig and the wreath is kind of in the way of the pig. But you know what I also notice? Hmm. I like how this wreath actually looks a little bit more farmhousey. So I think I might change the wreath from that. Yes, it actually matches this little guy over here, okay? And you can go with a shorter candle, but I don't have a shorter one. So I like that. All right, let me read some more comments. Put your moss ball in front of the black and white. No candle. It's got to have a candle, Sharon. A jar of buttons. I like that idea, Julie. Very, very good idea. Jennifer says it's too jammed together. You want me to just kind of move everything out maybe an inch away from each other and see how that looks? Okay, I'm moving stuff out just a bit away from each other. Sometimes an inch makes a difference. But, okay, I'm gonna move this at an angle so it's different. Okay. No, this space is bothering me right there. I don't like that space. Okay, coming back to comments. If you're just joining, I changed my huge tray ottoman from what the decor I had previously to go with my home and we're changing it out to farmhouse okay jar of marbles i love that idea looks great put one of your signs in front it's kind of like in the back if i put it in the front then i think that's where i want to have my signs is back there so that i can have all the lower heights down there let's see let's see let's see Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, apple dishes. Love the sign. No veggies. Way too much, Jennifer says. Jackie says, be nice, ladies. I think we all have opinions. Wood color for the front open area. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Mm hmm. No, I don't. Okay, let's keep going. Let me scroll all the way down because I just missed about 50 comments. Randy says, I think it's the bowl that doesn't belong. Something else. Everything else looks great. Okay, let's see what we got. I think I have an idea and I'm staring right at it. We'll see. How do y'all like this? You all want me to try this? Let's see how this looks. What if we take everything out and put this in there? Okay. So we're going to keep some of that blue. Don't these look like big yappy lips? Look like blab lips. And I'm still going to keep the veggies there. Because I like the veggies. You can't convince me to get rid of the veggies. Because I like that pop of bread there. I feel that farmhouse needs to have some pop of bread. And again, you can do your own dried florals and orbs and pots. Just paint them. Get you some paint. So this might be what y'all are looking for. Yes? No? Maybe so? Okay, well now we're going to get rid of it. Hmm. Alright, we'll see if that works and then... How about that? Look at that. That looks like somebody's ear. Looks crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's reevaluate here. Let me look, let me look, let me look. Okay. okay. What do y'all think? green it's 
dragon nut. Hmm. And this is not even going to be like my full like staged look here. This is just to show y'all. All right, how do y'all like that? Like it better. So that's what was kind of throwing y'all off saying, no, get rid of it. All right, all right, all right. Greens behind the sign. Hmm. Julie, like to hide it, add your C. Where would I add my C? I have no idea where I would add my C. I need something right here. It's bothering me. There's a space right there. You know what? I think I found it. We might have to put a little black home here. Oops. I think I like that like that. How do y'all like that? Hmm. Sign this off a bit, maybe move it a bit. Okay, like this. Just depends which way you want it. It's really looking a lot like traffic coming this way and the pig is what is looking at you when you walk in. Okay, let me go ahead and take y'all off and I'll show y'all what it looks like closer and we'll go around it. Put the plant in the middle, turn it on its side. Oh, like it fell over? I don't wanna hit finish. All right, so here is our farmhouse look. Wait, let me. Okay, here you go. All right, guys, so I think somebody said to tip this over like it fell. Like that? To tip it on its side and move this out. I don't know if that's going to... Even that looks cute without this. I think we found, found it. I'll move that over. Everything looks great, just need to spread out a bit. I don't know how much further it gets spread out. Y'all are used to that too. I spoiled y'all, didn't I? I could bring in one of the kids' little pumpkins, but I don't know if that'll go. All right. Take the bowl off and add a platter that is white, like already done. <laughs> there's like there's gonna be suggestions all night for sure. Let's see. I have a mason jar that I actually painted for my wedding. So let's see. And I like that it's a cute little rustic. But I have to remember to put everything back. Look, I made a whole bunch of these for my wedding. Like seriously, like a hundred of these. Cool. And I think this would look cute, too. I don't know. We'll see. Ugh, look, and I can see the kids put something in there. Hmm. What do y'all think about that? The piggy melody is at, at home, but I don't think you can fight it anymore. Some burlap. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know where you could put burlap? You could put the twine around the candle. Remember how we did it the other night? Put the plant in that jar. It's not going to fit. If you're going to take the jar out, put the plant. Oops, I missed that comment. Put the plant. Hey, I'm trying to catch up. If you're going to put the jar Put the plant in the black and white bowl. If you're going to take the jar out, put the plant in the black and white bowl. 
in here. No, it doesn't look right. It looks like it's got a big old body and a small neck. Yeah, we could go on for days with this, guys. It's just a matter of what is your eyeball like? Oops, I'm going to hit my... All right, guys, so let me just go ahead and just kind of describe what I've done. Either you like it or you don't, or you can see different things, different ways that you can kind of mess with it. So how, where all this goes, I don't know. I'm going to have to find everything back in its place. <laughs> But I think this was in my dining room somewhere. And so this is just a metal bowl and just some orbs in there that were painted blue. And then we went ahead and put a purple onion and a red tomato in there because this is a farmhouse look. Oops, I missed a whole bunch of comments. And then I found this cute little Ray Dunn. This is probably the only Ray Dunn thing that I have that says savor with the candle in it. And then we've got the little piggy. So this is the angle that you're going to see when you walk into my house. Is that piggy oink oink. And then we've got some orbs there. Then we've got this teal back here. And then we have this tall candle, not candle, cotton um, jar. And it already came like that with the candles in it. And then we have that sign that... Um, Veronica made my friend and just some other random stuff in there uh, These I found at Hobby Lobby last year on clearance. I actually had four of them I had six of them and my friend scammed me out of two saying she had to have them for her doggy treats And then I like this because it looks like some type of herbs like I'm growing there Okay, and then I made these for my wedding a few years ago. Actually, my anniversary is on the fourth So I did a whole bunch of mason jars. We sprayed them and they all are different. See how they're wrapped with burlap and just random ribbon, cute little buttons, twine, all kinds of stuff. I did over 50 of these for my tables. Mindy, you can find this tray at Furniture Row Sofa Mart at Ingram. So can somebody take a screenshot of this because I'm gonna have to totally take this all apart. So I'll tell you when to take a screenshot. Can y'all take a screenshot of that, please? Somebody send it to me on a private message so that I don't have to put it together all over again. Okay, so now I need another screenshot. Wait, nope, I can't do it that way with everything there. Go ahead and do another screenshot like that and send it to me. Okay, and don't forget, this is Chalk Couture transfer that you could get today. From what I've checked, they are not sold out. Diana, Diana had to take it apart because it doesn't go with my decor right now. So I changed it from what I had it and just kind of showing you how you can change out the ottoman. Okay, so this doesn't go with my decor right now. Maybe for the spring. Or maybe for the summer when I want to do a little bit of farmhouse and stuff. Thank you, Bonnie, for sending me that picture. All right. So let's go ahead and put you back on the camera. Thank you, Teresa, for sending me a screenshot. I see those screenshots coming in. Y'all always come through. Uh-oh. Okay. So how do y'all like it? Let me know. If you love it, give me hearts. And if you don't really like it, go ahead and... Give me angry faces okay so if you would love this for your home give me hearts and if you're not totally happy with it give me some angry faces okay for the most part I think it's cute y'all can put angry faces I'm not gonna be upset I promise oh yeah Joyce on the other side as well Oopsie, sorry. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Ludi. So far, everybody loves it. I don't see no mean faces. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Thank you, Diane. Says she loves your sofa. Thank you, Alma. All right, so let's see what else we can do. Hmm. Carol says she just loves jars, right? 
Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, here come some angry faces. So that means somebody's not totally happy with it. So that was a trick. I'm going to block you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's okay. I asked y'all for honest opinion. Maybe you don't even like farmhouse and you're like, ooh, nothing she does. I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to like it because I don't like farmhouse. Farmhouse has been a big trend since last year. I did a whole farmhouse series and everything I did that farmhouse sold. All right. Um, okay, let's go ahead and thank you, Ludi. I got those screenshots. You can even send a screenshot of this. Go ahead. Ludi, send me a screenshot of this. It's a different angle. I'll wait for you. So I'm looking at what else can I do? I wonder if we can change this out to spring. I don't have a little bunny nearby. Let's see what we can do. I need apples and tins. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and change this out. Do y'all want to... Hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at what I have and what we can change out. What if we somehow... Let me get some scissors. Thank you for that, whoever's sending me a message of the screenshots. I appreciate it. All right, so let's see what we can go with next. Maybe we can do another farmhouse, but we're going to put a planter in here. What do y'all think about that? What if we try to put this guy somewhere in there? This guy is for sale. Let me go ahead and turn words around. Uh, Tony, I don't have any Valentines on me. Uh, Jackie says, use your lantern in one. I do have Valentines, but I would have to go and dig. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Looks like more for a kitchen, not a living. Linda, that is true, but some people have farmhouse all in their house. <laughs> okay, so let's see how we can try to work this guy in. Y'all want me to see how I can work this guy in and see what we can do? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like this took a lot out of me. <laughs> Only because I see how much stuff I got to put back. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what we can do. I still want to put some type of teal in there with there. In there, in there. Let's see. I'll move some stuff out of here. Use some letters. Yeah, Peggy. Let me see if I can get some letters. All right. Okay, we're going to take this out. So where did I have this? I had this over here. I wonder if I have any smaller signs that, huh, okay. All right, let's move this here. I want to put some color at the bottom and bring in that teal. Let's move this away. All right, so we're going to try to create another farmhouse look. We'll see. It might look the same. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So we're going to put this in an angle. What do y'all think about that being in an angle? Yes? Let's see. Paula, yes, they're great for summer, but it's also a farmhouse look. So we'll see. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I feel like Matthew McConaughey when I say, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Well, maybe this will be a summer farmhouse look. How about that? A summer farmhouse look? Hmm. This needs to go over here because this thing, what do you call this? Spout? 
All right. All right, what else can we do? Mm -mm. This is gonna be tricky for me, you guys. I wanna quit this one. I'm being very honest. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do here. A watering can, there we go. I don't even know what my stuff is. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Nope, that's too much. Maybe what would go there, let's see. I'm trying to think of what I have. Help me out here. What do I do? Wooden spoons. Linda, we're just changing stuff out. This is not to go with my house. It's just showing different ways that you could stage um, a tray different ways. So I know this doesn't go with my house, but it's just showing you things that you can pull together. Just the wreath, then add the balls. Roosters. <gasps> Cindy, I don't have any roosters. I sure don't. I don't think I have a single rooster, although my mom does have a rooster. I have a rooster, but he's on a pick. It's not a rooster that would stand on its own. Put the round things you have in the tray. Oh, okay. Like that, but we will take this out. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. I think this is gonna be a train wreck. I do, but I, I don't I, I don't know what chocolate signs to put there. Let's see, what do I have? <laughs> this one is a stickler for me for sure. I'm looking around. Hold on, let me see what I got over here. Hmm. Bear with me, y'all. This is where Claire is getting stuck. the letter S somewhere like that this could be a simple one not everything has to be dramatic right no nope that's too much height yeah, that's too much height. See how this is like mind boggling for me. Can we put the piggy there? Another farmhouse. And then put another, I don't know. Maybe get the cow. Should we get the cow or get the piggy that says simplify? And just put that there let's see see how this is nerve-wracking oh look a ladybug oh it's a red one somebody make a wish come on here tickling my finger I'll leave them there Maybe this pig says it all. Simplify, Clara. Doesn't always have to be so dramatic. How does the S go? This way, this way, this way. I just forget how the S goes. And then I think it's back. Help me out, y'all. And then maybe put the candle here because we need some teal. 
I think I like that. What do y'all think? Yes, no, maybe so. Well, we took the piggy out. Now we're going to put the piggy at. No, that needs to go there. And maybe we'll put the piggy back here on the other side. But he's hiding. All right, let me stop and take a break and see what y'all are saying. Y'all probably like, no, 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 no. Okay. Let me go and read some of y'all's comments. Barbara says, yuck. Peggy says, empty the bowl and add the spiral balls. Okay, I think I like that. Do I have a short candlestick? Um... I have the ones from my centerpiece, one of my centerpieces. Okay, so let's take these out and just leave. Let's take all these out and just put the orbs in there, right? feel like I need another one of those things here. Hmm. How do y'all like that? Yes or no? Watering can. Flowers and watering can don't go. Spread it out a little. Can you change the color of the flowers? I could, but it's got sunflowers on it. I would need to bring in some yellow somewhere. This is where you could paint those orbs yellow. Did you see how they're painted blue? You could definitely get you some yellow paint and just kind of touch on those a little bit. Turn the cake things upside down. <laughs> okay, let's see. And put a candle on it. Very interesting. <gasps> oh, I didn't think about that. What is that? Like? Might be a little too high though. Yeah. That's an interesting thought though. I never thought about that. All right. Let's see what other centerpiece or something else that I can put there in place of that watering can. I'm wondering if I have another centerpiece in the garage that would go there. Okay, guys, hold on. Let me let me refigure this. Let's take this out because we don't have any yellow, so it's kind of hard to picture it all together. And then what if we either add this to bring in some of that black and white? And then see if we can fit that cotton thing in there. Again. Let's see. I don't think this guy's going to go in there. Nope, he's not. But I might have some cotton that I can put in there really quickly. I don't want to take this out in a row. Let's see how this 
this looks. This has some blue in it, so let's stick these in there. I think I like this, and then we got the little piggy going on over here. I wonder if I could put the candle behind here, or if it'll be way too much. Okay, I'm gonna move everything up a little. Okay guys, I think this one's slowly coming together. Slowly. where you could see it. Let's see. Where it's kind of like peaky. Oh my gosh, I think I found it. All right, let me move some of this stuff away. Put this here. Do y'all like that? Did it come together finally? Okay, I'm sorry, y'all were like super close. some of this stuff back. I wonder how some of this would look just random in here. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, I think we're good with that. Let me see if I can put this little one back here. Just so you see something over there. All right, guys, I think I'm done with this one. I'm happy with it. Take out that little black thing with green leaf right here. And put that there. Good to go. What do y'all think? I think I love it. Yes, add the cotton. Where would I add the cotton though? The cotton would look perfect right there, but I can't, um, it doesn't come out of that container. But I wanted to bring in some blue because the blue, there's blue on the balls. Barbara is still with the yuck. <laughs> Shani says, put. Okay. Mm. Teamwork, teamwork. Let me see if I have cotton, guys. Y'all want to give me a second to see if we got some cotton? Let's see. Okay, let me see if I have some cotton. Some cotton picks.
these from. I got these from Cracker Barrel. And I got them because they were like really, really good and thick. Now just to find scissors. Where's my scissors? Let me get my scissors. They're over here. Take these out, put these in. I even found this one right here. Maybe not. Okay, there you go, the pros. What do y'all think? Is it cute? Okay, guys. So here is... <laughs> I like the flowers, too. See? Make up your mind. Cotton and mason jar. I totally love the flowers. All right. So let me go ahead and take y'all down. show you what we put together all right y'all like the blue flowers can you change the case yeah I don't like that base hmm. look somebody already sent me a screenshot already I do not be drinking big red on my sofa girl you about to lose your birth certificate Okay, I'm just reading y'all's comments here. Flowers, flowers, flowers. It collided with the placemat. Love the vase. I like the flowers too. Well, you know what? I like the flowers too. Okay, let's put the flowers back in. Because y'all were asking for cotton, and now y'all don't like the cotton. The cotton, or you like flowers. Flowers. It always says flowers, y'all. All right. I like the flowers because we've got teal and we've got blues going on here. All right, so we're going to stick with that, and I'm going to go ahead and take y'all off so somebody could take a screenshot. So let me go ahead and turn this around. So can somebody take a screenshot of that, por favor? Somebody take a screenshot of that and send it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that and send it to me, please. Um, I've, I'm not sure who's saying, but they're saying that the teal ball is getting lost, which would be that. So where would we put it? I can see where you're saying that. 
So maybe bring the greenery here and bring in the teal ball over here. And maybe bring in this greenery here. I think I like that. Okay, can you go ahead and take a screenshot of that again, somebody? And I'll love you forever. Alrighty, and then go ahead and take another screenshot uh, like that. Try not to get this stuff in the background. And then here's what it looks like in the back. So y'all can take a screenshot of this too, just like that. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Rebecca. All right, guys, so here is just another farmhouse look. So we transitioned this two different ways from the original look. So this still has some blues and it's got some teals. And I think I'm actually gonna leave that teal in there because it goes with my house once I put everything back. Put the teal ball on the greenery. All right, thanks, Deb. So what is y'all's favorite part about this? Now, there might be some parts that you don't like, but what is your favorite part? Thank you, Rebecca. I think I just like the pig in general, right? Um, and I might have to keep them because I don't have any more of him. And uh, anything that I have a, of him, with him in it, it usually sold right away. I think I do have a, a Christmas swag with a pink piggy in it though. So we might have to go get that pink piggy out and use them on a Valentine swag or something because I used them on a Christmas one. Lunda says, much better with the greenery in front of the frame. All right, so let's go ahead and just take a little peep around. That sign was made by my friend Veronica with Chaka Tour. So y'all know that I'm a designer with Chaka Tour and I got a huge team of about 600 under me. But she made them and that's something less I have to do. So I will be plugging that into a wreath probably. All right, so there's the orbs. Again, don't forget, if you want some orbs and you wanna throw some color on them, get you some quick acrylic paint or even junk monkey paint for me that I have cause it's a chalk style paint and just, you know, finger paint that. Get you your, you know, the color that you like. We got some placemats under here that kind of brings in the color from below. Somebody said, go ahead and put a letter there. I've got S's and C's all over the house for my last name and my first name. I don't even think I have a P in the house for my husband. <laughs> um, Carol says she loves everything but the vase. Okay, so maybe because it clashes with the piggies pattern. I don't know. All right. So then we got that cute little house that has twine with the peace tag on it that I got from at home. It's part of their Christmas decor, so I got it for like nothing. Paint that yes, S yellow. Oh, that would be great too for this one. And then we have this. I just love it. It just, I just, I don't know why. I just like it. It looks like herbs. I guess because I can't grow anything. All right, so when you walk in, this is what you see is this angle here. All right, and then we come to the back. And we have another teal, I don't know what you call those, spiral circles. And then we have the cake stand. And then we got a candle in the back. And you could either put cotton. Um, I chose the blue tall little foam balls there. So I like that. So which was y'all's y'all's favorite one? I've got a ton more stuff, guys, that I could totally work with. I wanted to work with that big old planter and go with the spring look, um, but I'm stressed out. <laughs> yes, that is true, Jean. The diamonds complement each other. You could probably put that little milk jug right here and it'll match and fit perfect. What do y'all think? You wanna try it out? Zoe, put that back, baby and go get that milk planter. Oh. Be careful where you put it. And we are gonna take this out really quickly just to kind of mess with another look. 
put it right there. Wait, 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 but face the spout this way. And this is where you could put the cotton too. That looks cute. For those that didn't like that black and white. So, oh my gosh, take a picture of that. Hold on. All right, does anybody want to take a picture of that? Here is another look, just by changing out the base. You want to take a screenshot of that. That base is so cute. See, I buy all these things because I think, oh my gosh, I'm going to make a centerpiece out of it. And then I'm like, well, I like the way it looks in my own stuff. So did y'all like the black and white Harlequin pattern? Or y'all like this? This kind of goes better because it's a milk. You can pour milk out of it. Now they want to see cotton in the base. <laughs> So somebody take a screenshot of that and send it to me, por favor. Okay. And take a screenshot of this. Well, try not to get everything in the way here. There you go. That's another one. Okay, Zoe's going to go get the cotton now. Go get the cotton, girl. It's right there, and we're going to take the blues out. Because we want to please all our fans. So she's going to take out the blue and put the cotton in there. And then y'all could take a screenshot of that. There you go, picture. It's more farmhouse-ish, right? Because there's a lot of cotton that grows there. Can grow it Mm-hmm. So this is super cute too. Love that. Okay, who's gonna take a screenshot of this? Linda, she's sick. She's like dying of the flu in bed. I've been checking on her. So if you love the black and white hearts and if you love the picture, thumbs up. Thank you, everybody. So who's going to go out and go get a tray? Hmm? I know some of you are going to go get a tray. All right, let me put you back on the camera. And let me show you some other things that I... I'm not going to stage them. But just some other things to kind of look out for. Okay, so I found this sign and I have no idea where, but I absolutely love it. Because when people come to your house, believe it or not, this is a very common question. Let me turn this around. Well, I took it off, girlfriend, for a reason. So this is a very common question when people come to your house. What's the Wi-Fi password? And I'm surprised I actually said Wi-Fi because I've been saying Wi-Fi forever. So welcome to our home. The Wi-Fi password is da 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 da. It's on it's on glass, so you could get a washer. What do you call it? A dry erase marker, and just put your password on there. Okay. So I like that, and I don't know why it's dirty. And I have this in my restroom, but this even looks cute. You know up here on the tray so here's another idea find you one of these or you know what write it on a piece of paper and get you a nice frame if you have good penmanship or print it out do it on a word document on your computer um do the font and all of this and then put it behind a glass frame and then just totally get you a dry erase marker and do that so and let me tell you, when people went to the restroom, they're like, hey, that sign's pretty cool. I like that. You know, because everybody uses a restroom eventually. <laughs> Emily, you know what? That can't be your password. None of your business. But when you got a lot of people here, like especially at Christmas, they all want to be on their phones and they're like, oh, what's, the, you know, can I use your, can you, can I use your internet? <laughs> yes, this looks cute in a guest room too, Dan. All right. So other things that I have that are great for spring. I think I showed you how to make these last year as a project on canvas and I did a bunch of these actually on wooden signs as well and now you see them all over the place so this would be cute as well for spring right put it on one of those picture frame stands and use this to bounce off the rest of your tray idea for spring 
So this was done out of scrapbook paper and this is actually supposed to represent a vase and then we just hot glued a bunch of florals to look like it's coming out and put a bow right there and then we just put it on a stand. All right, so this is also something you could put on there for for spring. Leona, I got the tray at Furniture Row Sofa Mart on Ingram Road. So it is Sofa Mart. So that's where I got all my furniture and all those teal pillows that you see in the background. Those are all Sofa Mart and I got them for 16 bucks each. Okay, let me see what else. We can show you. I have this crown that I was gonna try to work in, but you know, just things like this that you can find and kind of you know just give height to stuff. Not necessarily on here, but you don't want it obviously that high, but maybe even you know something like that. Obviously, it's not gonna go with this, but you know, get your little cake stand, put a crown on it. I've got several crowns around the home because um we all earn crowns in heaven, right? We get our crowns in heaven. So a lot of things I have in my home are representative of angels and heaven and, you know, my beliefs and stuff like that. Um, these currently, you can find them at Kirkland's. They're last year's product, but I saw that they're bringing these out again. So I've seen them where they have white flowers and then the vase is, I think, white with gold polka dots. So this is something also that you could, you know, plug in there for spring. And when you start bringing out your spring and throw some Easter eggs on there, throw some gold Easter eggs around there or whatever, that's definitely cute. Okay, here's another thought or idea is making your own moss balls. And I showed y'all how to make these last year as well. So this is a candle stand, okay? And I actually have this in my restroom. So you make these moss balls by bunching up a bunch of paper bags or plastic bags, like H-E-B bags or grocery bags. You bunch them up, bunch them up, bunch them up. You put masking tape around them and then you get moss mat and then you just put the moss mat around and it's supposed to stick and then you just decorate it with random burlap, uh, ribbon, some burlap scraps and there you go all right so this is cute and when you come to my restroom you actually see that like that on the corner where my sink is at so creating moss balls is super fun but it's it's a mess okay and then here is a succulent moss ball so this was done with a foam ball so what you want to do so that it sits and doesn't roll around is you want to get you a foam ball but you shave off the bottom so it gives you a flat surface and then you get the moss mat and you just go ahead and glue it all the way around um, go ahead and get you some succulents these are these get expensive get you some succulent look I totally need to dust this get you some succulents that you like from Hobby Lobby and stick those in the foam and then Go ahead and just put the moss all the way around so i may do a live to kind of show you how to do that as well and yes debbie put burlap around the candle that would be nice or twine with the key or something like that so here's some other things that you could totally do and just kind of throw there in your centerpiece these are easy to do you don't have to buy them you can make them yourself if you go grocery shopping or you shop anywhere that gives you plastic bags this one is made out of plastic bags and this one is made out of one foam ball and the reason this had to be done with the foam ball is because the succulents they can't stick inside plastic so you had to put it in the foam all right okay guys let me see if y'all have any other questions that y'all want to ask me i'm gonna put this away i might leave this for tonight just because i don't want to deal with it I gotta put everything back. Oh gosh. All right, let's see. Carol says she wants to make some of the moss balls. So cute. We might do one live. Why not, right? Thank you, Star. She says, great how to on moss balls. Well, you know what? That's an easy live. And I've got the moss mats here, and I totally could show you how to do it and show you how easy it is. Linda, the favorite room in my house is 
has to be the kitchen I mean the living room right now because it's so new it makes me happy when you walk into my bedroom it is such a mess like it is a hellhole <laughs> there are clothes everywhere um, six people in this house constantly clothes need to be folded clothes need to be put away and my husband seems to think our bedroom closet is ours and it's totally mine and because I love to shop and I have a lot of clothes there's not enough room for my clothes and not enough room for his so I mean if he would just move back to his mom that would like solve all our problems because I would have all the room I needed for my clothes but that's not what married couples should do <laughs> but look there's Zoe um, we definitely need a bigger house but we've already talked about that and probably at the end of next year we're looking into adding on to the house because we've got a good our outside porch or um, cement slab is already a great foundation for adding on to a house and extending our kitchen Zoe do you mind I'm stretching. she's stretching um, and building another master bedroom downstairs instead of selling our home and looking for another home that let's be honest guys I don't want to move all my ribbon out of here it, it would just stress me out to no end and I would never move right Zoe's totally stealing the show in the back <laughs> they're like ha ha Zoe B I definitely will do a live on how to do the balls it's really pretty easy you know and you can decorate them however you want thank you Kim she says you're so creative Ooh. I guess I was supposed to make a wish I totally hit that ladybug off of me all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and let you go I hope you enjoyed me um, showing you how to transition an everyday tray ottoman tray and you can Zoe really You can totally put this on your dining table or a dresser, you know, do a dresser long ways and kind of do the same kind of idea and do different heights. If you saw my video earlier of me at my friend's house and we kind of worked with just what she had, you saw me create different heights with the picture frames and other things that she had. So if you want to do this like on an entrance dresser on a tray, you totally could, but just do the same effect long ways, right? Or horizontally. Zoe, do you want to be part of the show, girl? <laughs> her and her green mouth. <laughs> all right, guys. Y'all have a great night. Thank you for watching me transition all of this. And we will see you maybe tomorrow. Maybe we'll make moss balls tomorrow. I don't know. All right. Good night. Bye.